I'm Josh Penitzer, Project Manager for Loyal Hand Watershed Association. And today, we're at the uh, Upper Latrobe Abandoned Mine Drainage Treatment System. Um, basically, what we're going to do today, give you a little overview of why we build these types of facilities uh, to treat the AMD or Abandoned Mine Drainage water that is coming out from discharges underground in the areas where in the past that have been heavily mined uh, for cool. So what you just saw there was uh, two of our first settling ponds that we have to uh, first the initial treatment for this AMD water. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the main focus of this project was because throughout the city of Latrobe it was heavily mined in the past and there's numerous discharges that come up uh, through old mine seeps out of uh, other areas in the ground. And the water uh, it needs to be treated due to the heavy iron content and uh, possibly other heavy metals that are in the water. So this project is designed to take all those discharges into one location, treat it, and then release that water into the Lower Hanna Creek as cleaner water than it would normally if it's just coming right out of the ground. So this project was made possible by a Grown Greener Fund. It was completed in 2010. It's designed to treat 500 gallons per minute of water. Uh, obviously that fluctuates during the time of year. It can go down, um, you know, a range between 300 and 600 in the winter months and in the spring during the thaw and the high flows. So over here, you can see how the system originates. There's four blue caps there, which house the boreholes that was drilled down into the mine pool to relieve the pressure there and then it's pumped through pipes up into these orange ponds that you see here. So as it comes up out of the ground, these two ponds are identical. It comes up out of the mine pool, up these pipes, and you can see it comes out of this big pipe right here. This particular type of treatment system uses an aeration method. So basically as this comes out of the ground, it mixes with, with the oxygen, and hence the oxidation process comes out, which results in all this orange coloration. So as the water mixes with oxygen, oxidation happens, turns the heavy metals orange, and they begin to drop out of the solution. So this is a different angle of the uh, initial settling ponds immediately after the water comes out of the mine pool underground. You can see as it comes out through the pipes, and then it fills these two ponds up, and you can see the black liner around the edge. That is a thick liner just to protect, make sure there's no seeps so this water isn't seeping back into the ground, basically defeating the purpose of this whole project. And then as it comes down through these first initial two ponds, it hits what's called these troughs. So the water fills up in the back ponds here. As it flows down over the troughs, it's just another type of this aeration method. So it mix the water that did not drop all the heavy iron content in the first two ponds. It can mix with additional oxygen here with the oxidation process, drop the additional iron out, and then it continues out another trough system before it empties into our wetland uh, final, final settling pond. So this is the last part of uh, how this passive treatment system operates. This is the tail end of the wetland pond, where this is the final spot before the water is returned to the Lower Hanna Creek. So as it travels down through here, it's a full 24 hours later. There's a box in the corner where the pipe, that'll pipe this water directly into the Lower Hanna Creek at a neutral pH and an iron content, you know, around one or less than one which is phenomenal for uh, everything that inhabits that, this waterway. So hopefully this, you got a good understanding now of how uh, a passive treatment system operates, in particular the Upper Latrobe Abandoned Mine Drainage Treatment System.